Engineering students at Hylia Gardens High are helping make a difference at their school by coming up with their own traffic solutions. They just presented their ideas to the Florida Department of Transportation, which plans to turn some of their suggestions into reality. Local 10 News reporter Janice Fernandez has more. The issues students face at Hialeah Gardens High School are not far off from what all South Florida commuters deal with on a daily basis. Lots and lots of traffic. <laughs> making it sometimes impossible to get to your destination on time. It's extremely bad and it's not just that, but the people themselves when they drive, they don't take the precaution or follow the, the law. The school is located on Hialeah Gardens Boulevard along with two other schools. Adding to the mess, it's also near a busy shopping center. All of that combined, traffic along Hialeah Gardens Boulevard is a nightmare during the morning and afternoon rush. But these students saw it as an opportunity to make some real changes. So I think it's very important that we, um, as citizens of this area, you know, help people in that sense. About 30 engineering students are working with FDOT South Florida Commuter Services and PB Engineering to come up with real solutions to alleviate traffic issues. Engineers are mentoring the students, teaching them how to collect data, like how to properly count cars and figure out timing of traffic signals. These are fresh minds, um, smart students, and I'm sure that they can come up with great solutions to alleviate the traffic. These students are acting like real engineers. The way they are collecting data is the real deal. Once the data is collected, it will be analyzed and the students will present a solution. That plan will be presented by the spring. I think it's good for the students because it is showing them the correlation between the real world and what they do in school. And at the end of the day, it can only benefit them because um, most of them are going to be becoming engineers. Janice Fernandez, Local 10 News.